This is part two of the Adirondack chair build. If you missed part one, you can click right over here. So far we covered the armrests, the seat frames, and the seat slats. Moving on, I'm now gonna cut the back slats, the ones that will run vertically, to rough length on the miter saw. I need seven back slats. I'm gonna edge glue two one by four pieces together and then rip these down to the width that I want later. While those are drying in the clamps, I'll go back to the miter saw and cut two back frame pieces. These will get a radius cut into them to accept the back slats. Now, a quick Google search for how to figure the radius of an arc will yield 7,760,000 search results. Any number of these will provide a calculator and do the dirty work for you. So I'll mark the center of my board, then measure two inches up from the center. From that cross point, I'll measure 20 and 1 8 inches perpendicular to the board. Look at me using all these big words. I so learned it. In case you haven't noticed, this doesn't have to be perfect or exact. In fact, you could hand draw this if you wanted or break out an oversized compass and make it perfect. Just for the sake of variety, I'm gonna use the bandsaw. The jigsaw would be completely acceptable. Again with the obvious. I'm gonna smooth out the bandsaw blade marks at the drill press. Those are done, and I'll set those aside and go back to the miter saw and cut these back legs. The front legs are next, and I'll switch to the table saw miter gauge to cut them both at the same time. I'm going to make some tapered cuts in all four of the legs. No scientific measurements here, simply what feels right. Then connect those two marks and line the boards up on the tapering jig. Same process for the back legs. Remember those back slats and the clamps? Those are dry. Let's take them out, rip them the width on the table saw. I'll get three back slats out of each of the two glue ups about two and a quarter inches wide. I'll rip the last one out of a one by four and the off cut piece will be used later in the project. I've figured this all out to have very little waste. I forgot to round over the edges of the armrests when I rounded over the edges of the seat slats, so I'll do that now before I start assembly. I've set up two stop blocks on the drill press because these screws are so close to the edge, I think it's imperative to pre-drill these holes. One of the drills is set up with a countersink bit and the other with the bit I need to drive the screws. Ah, we're making good progress. Part three, you know where to click. Visit me at simplyeasydiy.com, Facebook, and Pinterest. Until then.